hysteroscopic polypectomy is a common procedure for the gynecological surgeon. Here we've introduced a morselator through the hysteroscope after we have identified bilateral tubal ostea, which is an absolute requirement when performing hysteroscopic surgery. Here the morselator is reducing the tissue bulk of the polyp and we see the tubal ostea at the tip of the morselator. This patient had a very large pedunculated endometrial polyp. A loop was placed around the base of the polyp and the polyp was amputated prior to performing the hysteroscopy. Here the morselator is reducing polyp size and tissue load. We can see the tubal ostea to the right of the morselator. The morselator is shaving the endometrial lining. Here we see the suture ligature that was placed over the base of the pedunculated polyp prior to amputating the polyp. The base is now morselated, and we are gaining full access and view of the endometrial cavity. The morselator is reducing the endometrial tissue more. We now retract the morselator. We have a full view of the endometrial cavity. We see bilateral tubal ostea at each angle of the endometrial cavity. We have a hemostatic reduction of the polyp and tissue from the endometrium. This is the endocervical canal and hysteroscopic polypectomy is complete.